Hey everybody, it's Jared, and today we're gonna fix all of my PC build mistakes. So if you don't know, a few days ago I posted a video of my dad and I building my very first gaming PC. Again, it was my very first one, so I maybe knew zero to nothing about it. My dad is in IT, so he's had his fair share of building computers, but obviously gaming computers and just like regular office computers are a little different just because they don't have like the liquid cooler thing, you know? The comment section in my last video, there were a lot of comments just saying, oh, you should fix this, you, you know, your computer is gonna blow up. Don't want my computer to blow up. So since I posted the video, I've just been looking at the comment section every day to see um, all the tips and the advice that people who are more experienced than me have. So thank you to those people who have been pointing out my flaws and educating me on PC building. I really appreciate it. So my first video, I built it with my dad, but since then, now he thinks I'm qualified to do it on my own. We'll see how this goes. Please don't be mean to me. <laughs> Let's unscrew this bad boy. Hey guys, it's voiceover Jared here, and I'm just gonna be popping in and out just to fill in those awkward silences. Most of the comments in my comment section were about the installation of my CPU cooler, which I completely understand. Since I've been reading all your comments, I have watched 10 CPU installation videos, especially this one. And I will also be referencing this video because um, obviously you can choose your parts, like everything's not gonna be the same. I looked at a video that wasn't exactly like the same setup as mine and that's completely my fault so thank you for everyone who pointed it out in the comments that I'm gonna blow up my computer. <laughs> um, so let's quickly change that. So this is the current state of my PC right now. When I posted the video these tubes were facing here going up and I realized that that was really bad. From the video I referenced, they said it's good for tubes to go down. I think I'm going to rotate this so this is on the side instead and then I will fix this little front part. I'm not looking forward to this. <laughs> I really was dreading this just because of the amount of wires there are. They were so neat and now I'm just going to mess them up. But here I'm showing you how counterintuitive this is like, why is there a fan, the radiator and a fan? Like, why did I make a fan sandwich? I thought I had cracked the code. I was very wrong. I am sorry. <laughs> but this is what the video showed me. So I hope I'm not wrong. So this came with the case, but because I was dumb and put the fans right here, they didn't fit. So I took it out, but now it fits. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> Why did I make that noise? Good save, I guess. Now I'm gonna remove these fans and I'm gonna replace it with this. Oh, look at her. A strong, independent woman flexing those non-muscles while screwdrivering. I didn't want to use the word screwing. It's a weird word, but I had to. <laughs> so I do this why are my arms weird whatever it works out don't judge me another comment i got was about the graphics card um they suggested that i should put it on the top pcie slot the reason that it is on the bottom is just that we couldn't get it to fit on this top portion so i am unfortunately going to leave it here i hope it doesn't have any long-term issues but i think it'll be fine <laughs> the next step is to plug everything back in <sighs> This is my least favorite part. Since I talked about the GPU, I think it's a good time to say that I got my GPU in 2020, not 2021. I definitely lucked out there. Oh my gosh. Look at this mess. It's a mess. Okay, still not the greatest, but it's better. Um, this was just a test to see if it would turn on and not explode. So then I decided to put everything back. Oh, I left the film on the side temper glass just because I wanted to protect it in the time being since it shoved up in the cabinet. Um, and then now I'm just going to see if 
everything works and it does i really appreciate you guys bringing it to my attention and pushing me to really research more because what i had researched wasn't sufficient enough i hope this time i did it correctly but if there is anything else that you saw that wasn't up to standard please say it nicely in the comments and i'll try to fix it again just to reiterate i did not move the gpu onto the pcie like the first one on the top just because um one the first time we tried it it like had complications two i was gonna try it again to see if there were more complications but i really couldn't take it out um if <laughs> if it's like a really really bad problem just like let me know and then i'll work more to fix it i hope that it being just on the second slot doesn't make my computer blow up that's really my only concern, me wasting all that money and all that time just for my human error to like completely mess it up. So again, thank you for all your help. As I said in the last video, like my setup is not that great just because my computer is lodged into like the tower portion built into my desk. Um, please don't be like, oh, it's a waste of money because you bought the RGB and it's just hiding away. Um, I do plan on moving out in the near future, so hopefully I can display it a lot more then. Maybe I'll have a future video on that just quickly showing my setup. Ooh. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, thank you so much for all your help. Please leave kind words down below, and I hope to see you guys next time. <laughs>